Hi, my name is Susanna, and I am a product analyst here at Matillion. Today, I will be showing you how to use Snowflake's Partner Connect to initiate a Matillion instance and load Salesforce data into Snowflake. Let's get started. To get started with Snowflake Partner Connect and to start loading data into Snowflake, first click on the Partner Connect button at the very top of your screen in your Snowflake account. Once you do, you can see Matillion is one of the Snowflake partners that can help you start loading data into Snowflake. By clicking on Matillion, Snowflake is able to pass the information about your account and give us enough to get you started with a free trial. All right, so we've already got started with a Matillion instance. Through the use of transformation and orchestration jobs, Matillion allows you to extract, transform, and load your data into Snowflake. The first screen you will see when you enter Matillion is this create project screen. However, in this case, the project has already been created for you. We're going to open this project by double clicking on it. This is the main user interface you will see with Matillion. At the top here, we've got the navigation panel where you can see jobs that have been created. This here is the main canvas where you can see the components for your jobs and how they are built. I'm now going to open a job for you to show you how this works. You've got a components menu at the bottom here so that you can drag components into your job. We've got the selected components property tab down the bottom here so that you can configure its properties. We've also got some task tabs here so that you can see the progress of your job. We've then got a project dropdown with some further menu options, as well as an admin and help dropdown here. As mentioned before, there are two types of jobs available for you within Matillion. There's an orchestration job, which is used to bring external data into Snowflake, and there is a transformation job, which is used to transform the data within Snowflake. You can see here we've got some sample jobs already set up, and you are free to review these jobs at your leisure. We will now look at creating some jobs of our own. To create a new job, we can simply right-click in the Explorer panel where we want the job to appear and select Add Orchestration Job. We are going to name this job Salesforce Retrieval. Since all orchestration jobs need a start component, Matillion has already added one for us by default. In this video, we want to load our Salesforce account data into Snowflake. To do so, we are going to drag a Salesforce component into our canvas here and fill out the component's properties to allow us to connect and pull data from Salesforce. Here, I will be authenticating with username and password. We now move on to picking our data source, which should retrieve the options you have within your Salesforce account. In this case, I'm going to choose account. I then move on to data selection, where I will choose the columns I will be using. You'll notice that Matillion is able to show custom Salesforce columns here. Here, I'll be selecting ID is deleted, billing country, industry, and number of employees. We click on this arrow to select them. Let's now change this limit since I'll definitely have more than 100 records. As you can see, the border of our component is still red. This means that we're still missing a few things to fill out. In this case, the S3 staging area. Here, I'm choosing my designated bucket. We are going to leave warehouse database and schema set to the environment default. Now, let's give this new table a name. I'll just call it SF dash to dash sf dash accounts. Now we've seen that our components border has turned green. This means that our properties are valid. Just to make sure everything is okay, we're gonna go down to sample and we're gonna click the row count. Since we've retrieved a row count, this means that Matillion has successfully accessed Salesforce. To load this data into Snowflake, we need to right click and run the job. As we see down here in the task tab, we've seen that the run has been successful and we can get more details just by clicking on this plus sign here. 
We can now transform the data using a transformation job. To do so, let's go back to the Explorer panel, right click and select new transformation job. Let's name this job SF-transform. To start, we need to drag a table input component into the canvas and select our newly created Salesforce table. Here, we're only going to select the ID, the industry, and the number of employees. Let's perform a sample run to make sure that this has been correctly selected. Now that we have a table to play around with, we're going to use a filter component to filter down the accounts list so that we have companies with more than 500 employees. Let's now add the filter condition. We want the input column to be the number of employees and we want it to be greater than or equal to 500. Let's now sample this data. As you can see, we now have companies with 500 or more employees. However, Matillion also offers other possible transformations as you can see here in the left panel. Now we want to store this in a new table using the rewrite table component. Let's call this SF final. Now we go back to our orchestration job. To finalize this demo, we're going to drag the transformation job into our orchestration job. All that is left now is to run the components, which will take the SF to SF accounts table, transform it into the SF final table and load it into Snowflake. We can see more details of this run by clicking the plus sign down here in the task tab. Let's now head back to Snowflake and look for our newly created table. Once you've returned to Snowflake, you will see that Partner Connect has produced a pop-up with an activation link. You don't actually need to do anything with this if you've already activated your account. However, it's there to remind you and allow you to go back and activate your Partner Connect if necessary. However, we're going to ignore it for now. As you can see, we've got this check in the corner to say that Partner Connect has successfully connected to Matillion. Let's now go into databases and make sure that our newly created table has been loaded into Snowflake. We go into our selected environment and we see that our two tables have successfully been uploaded into Snowflake. We can now use this Salesforce data to answer all the questions we have. So as you saw, in just a few minutes, we logged into Snowflake, connected with Partner Connect, set ourselves up with a free Matillion account, and we're able to start loading data from Salesforce without having to write any custom SQL or manual action. In the future, we can continue to use Matillion to keep Snowflake data up to date with very little impact or manual intervention. For more information on Snowflake Partner Connect, please visit matillion.com. Thanks for watching.